Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So today is a pretty special episode to me because I can finally geek out with you about my modular synthesizers, which I've been collecting for a good number of years, but stopped using eventually because it was just too difficult to integrate them well into my mostly digital workflow. But that has changed drastically with Studio One Pro 7 and the CV instrument. I can't wait to show you how this integrates all of my old school analog gear right here in Studio One Pro. And all we need for that is a DC coupled audio interface like the Quantum HD or ES series, for example, and a bunch of cables. If you also plan to use one of our brand new Quantum HD and ES USB-C interfaces for this workflow, which I would recommend, then you have to make sure that Universal Control, which is the Quantum HD's own mixer and routing software, is on bypass here. This is because we are only going to use Studio One for both the routing as well as the monitoring, and we don't want to end up hearing the signal twice, once from the mixer of the audio interface and once from the DAW. In the first step, we need to connect the audio output of our modular synthesizer to the inputs of our audio interface, in this case, the Quantum HD8. And then here inside of Studio One, if you open up a song, go to Song and Song Setup. And from here, under Audio I.O., you can add a stereo or a mono input, depending on whether you're leaving your system with two cables for left and right, or just a mono signal. In my case, I'm leaving the system from the headphone jack, which is stereo. So I've created a stereo pair here, input one and two, and I've also connected that to input one and two here on the Quantum HD8. Connecting the audio inputs is a very essential step because one that allows you to hear the modular synthesizer from within Studio One, so you can record it directly onto the timeline. And two, once you have the audio input connected inside of the CV instrument, which I'm gonna show you in just a moment, you can actually do all of the tedious tuning, which is usually such a hassle with analog, completely automated and with perfect precision. This is probably the sickest feature that I've ever seen for CV and gate instruments like modular synthesizers, but we'll get to that. With the audio output of our instrument connected to the sound card, the audio interface, there's just two more cables required to have some fun here. The first cable has to be connected to the pitch input of your oscillator, your sound source in the modular system. This pitch input is sometimes labeled one volt per octave for Eurorack modular, or hertz per volt, but that's pretty rare these days. But regardless whether the input is labeled pitch, one volt per octave, or hertz per volt, Studio One Pro 7 can actually handle all of these. We just have to run this cable from a DC coupled output. And those we have on the back of the Quantum HD8. All of the outputs that you see here on the back are DC coupled and have extreme high precision, which makes it perfect for no control of analog gear. The second cable also has to come from the audio interface. In this case, I went with the adjacent output. And this is for the gate or envelope trigger so that you can actually play a note, for example, on a keyboard and the modular system knows when to start and stop the note. So to recap, aside from the audio cables, we're running one cable for the note pitch and one cable for note on off. And now we're ready to have some fun. So here inside of Studio One Pro 7, when you open up the browser, you can head to the Instruments tab and you should find the brand new CV instrument. You can add that to any song by just dragging and dropping it. And the great thing is once we have the setup with our modular system and we save the routing, we can just drag that into any song and we can play our modular synthesizer right away as if it's any other plugin. And to do that, we first have to assign the audio input where we connected the modular synthesizer to the Quantum HD8 here in the audio in section. So I click right here and you can see inputs one and two that we set up earlier in the song settings is already available. I just select that and now assign a CV pitch output and a CV gate output. So those would be the two cables that I just shown you going from the Quantum HD8 over to the gate input and the pitch input of the modular system. In my case, that would be outputs number three for pitch and output number four for gate. All right, and now we're pretty much ready. All I need to do now is calibrate the modular synthesizer. The reason you have to do this is because when you have an analog synthesizer like this, 
the oscillators first of all have to warm up a little bit before they're pitch stable and then you still have to tune it by hand just like any other real instrument like an electric guitar or whatever you would have to tune it most of the time you would actually use a tuner much like with an electric guitar to do that but it's a very tedious process because it just takes one little touch of this knob here for example on this oscillator and it's already out of tune and I would spend some time to calibrate it yet again so that it's pitch stable and usable in a regular sound production. All of this is a complete thing of the past now in Studio One Pro 7 and this is why I'm so excited to show you this plugin. If you've used the modular synthesizer before you know how much of a hassle it is to tune your oscillators. So we need to hit calibrate and before we can do that we actually need to make sure that there's an audio signal from the modular synthesizer that we can actually calibrate the pitch from and i'm going to take one of my trusty patch cables i'm sure you're well familiar with these if you've ever worked with a modular synthesizer and i got to plug that straight here from the output of my sound source it's a sawtooth wave on the make noise dpo it's a lovely oscillator into my output and it doesn't sound very interesting But the point is that all of the tuning that I would regularly do with the tuner plugin can now be handled completely automated by the CV instrument plugin. Let me show you how. So I set the tune around like a C3, which is right around here, maybe. Just go for anything that's not super low or super high. Give that calibration a little bit of room to work. And then you hit calibrate with one single click. I can monitor this with this little knob. And what's happening right now is that the tedious process of tuning has been completely handled by Studio One Pro 7. I didn't have to do that by hand and this thing is now perfectly in tune, ready for me to play. I also want to point out that this works for any kind of oscillator, right? It works for one volt per octave inputs. It works for hertz per volt input, which is quite common, for example, on these old Korg MS-20s, for example. Basically, every standard that you can think of is supported. You can have glide, you can have trigger, you can have gate, you can set different trigger times. You can set all of these things right here in this plugin. And this is going to save you a ton of modules that you would otherwise have to buy for your modular. And this is why I was able to actually sell this monster case that you see here in the background and just keep this small system over here because now I can focus on the modules that produce real awesome sound and let Studio One Pro 7 handle all of the digital control. Best of all, once you have found the exact configuration that works for you, which will be so easy with this plugin because it's just one click, that you can save that as a preset for recall later. Also, keep in mind that everything can now be entered as MIDI notes and once you're done, you can just use Command and B on a Mac or Control and B on Windows to bounce that into an audio file that will render in real time. And so suddenly, using your modular synthesizer will feel like using any other virtual instrument plugin. So if you're passionate about synthesizers like I am, then hopefully you can understand why the CV instrument is such a big deal to me. Try it out now in Studio One Pro 7. Enjoy and thank you for watching.